Right, uh, Harish, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, we're just going to go across to Mr. Somanathan, the chairman of ISRO, who is joining us. Thank you very much, sir. Your first reaction, many, many congratulations. What is the mood there at uh, the tracking center, at the MOC? Uh, we are all very jubilant to see the success of the Chandrayaan 3. It has landed uh, exactly uh, the, with the speed that we expected, very soft landing. And we are all excited to see that it, uh, it has reached this situation so that we can do further experiments. What was the last few minutes for you? You were sitting there with previous uh, ISRO chiefs as well. The senior leadership team was sitting there with you. What was the last few moments like for you and your team? You know, we were very sure about it making this time. So we were not missed at all. And we were, it was exactly following the track and the trajectory that it was destined to go. So we were all very comfortable to see it traveling as expected. Was there any moment where you felt like, uh, you know, memories from four years ago were coming back? Now, I know that we learn from those memories, uh, those experiences. So, there is nothing to be worried about what happened in the past. Uh, so, we did what we can and that we achieved it. So, there is nothing that is so anxious about that. Sir, so, a word of appreciation for the team, the, the project team, the mission team. They have spent their almost lifetime building this project. Yes, sir. They are, in fact, the Chandrayaan journey started with Chandrayaan 1. It is a journey of last so many years. And uh, uh, reaching up to the moon itself was a big challenge during Chandrayaan 1, which we perfected. And later in Chandrayaan 2, we did it. And now also we could do the launching as well as reaching moon and capturing in orbit very safely. But the challenge of landing softly is always an enigma for anybody. So that, this broke, uh, that has been broken this time and we made it uh, successfully. So we are extremely, extremely happy about that. Uh, the thought process, the hard work, and the testing that the team did for last so many years. So what happens next? Uh, when do we start getting data from the rover as well as from the lander about what it's no, we discovering? Have to, yeah, we have to have many, many initial conditions checks, the health verification, communication links for scientific data, and after that we will be getting ready for the rover to come out. For before that itself, there are a lot of processes like the ramp opening, ramp latching, and uh, uh, then the rover will come out. It will take a few hours to confirm that. And, and sir, in terms of, you know, what this means for future missions, the Gaganyaan, the Aditya mission, and then, of course, there is the Mangalyaan as well. Uh, Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister was addressing us and he was mentioning about all of that. He mentioned about the Aditya L1 mission, the mission that we have for future like the Venus and the Gaganyaan as well. So, all of these are in the offing and we are working very hard to achieve those targets. Uh, Aditya L1 is scheduled for next month itself and we will be following up with the rest of those exploratory missions, science missions that we have. Uh, in the drawing board as well as in the planning. Uh, Mr. Somnath, uh, all right. Th thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is the first reaction from the ISRO chairman, Mr. Somnath, who has just spoken exclusively to CNN News 18, the first channel that he has spoken to right after uh, those incredible and historic scenes that were seen at Mission Operations Control.